Okay then, before I start today's setup guide for Batter Sarah 39 and Sega Saturn, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. That just means you get notified every time I release a new setup guide, just like this one you're watching today. And it also helps my channel out a lot too. So if you're new to Batter Sarah, check out my fully comprehensive guide for Batter Sarah 39. And also check out Batasera 39 for Raspberry Pi, if you've got a Raspberry Pi that is. So we're looking at adding Sega Saturn today to the latest Batasera 39. So what we're gonna do first of all is boot up into Batasera. From here, we're gonna press F1 on your keyboard. And that's gonna bring us here. Now you're gonna need a mouse once we're here. And what we're gonna do first is just drag some BIOS files into your BIOS order, which is on the left hand side. And the BIOS files you need for this is mpr17933.bin, mpr-18811-mx.icl. You also need mpr-19367-mxicl. And you need Saturn underscore BIOS.bin. And finally, we've got Sega101.bin. So once you place these BIOS files into your BIOS folder loosely, you don't need to drag them into any of these folders. They're just gonna sit nice and snug loosely, like I say, along here. So that's a BIOS in place. Next up, you're gonna need some games. Now, if we go to the ROMs folder on the left-hand side, we're just gonna go down to Saturn, which is on the left-hand side. And we've got here bug, and this is in .chd. So Saturn through Batacera is going to pretty much accept any file extension such as .bin, .q, .chd, .zip. However, there is one particular core in Batacera which won't accept zip. If you don't have .chd or you're not sure what chd are, then what this does is converts your .bin, .q files into .chd. It saves you space and it's better than having lots of .bin files in Q files. I did a setup guide on conversion between .bin.q and .chd, so do check that one out. So once we put our game into the Saturn, so once we put our game into that Saturn ROM folder and your BIOS files are in place, what we're gonna do next is just go to the file at the top and we're gonna go to close window. Okay, so once we're back to Batacera, what we're going to do is find there's actually no Sega Saturn game. So we're going to press start on your controller and we're going to go down to game settings, update game list, really update game list. Just press yes, a button on this. And we should now find Sega Saturn is now listed and here it is. So if we go in here by pressing the A button, here's my game in .chd. And what I'm going to do first is grab some artwork. So I'm going to press start button, which is going to bring up main menu. And from here, I'm going to just go down to scraper and systems included. I'm going to just make sure that Saturn is checked, which it is. If I press back and scrape now, at the top right hand side of your screen, you're going to see scraping. And here we go, very quickly, it's now scraped the data for the artwork in the preview video. So it says scrape and finish, update game list to apply changes. What I'm gonna do from main menu is just go up to game settings, update game list and press on yes. And here we go, cool. So you're gonna find that from time to time your artwork might not display correctly. If I go back out again and come back in, you'll see very briefly there's the artwork for bug, but it's very squashed. So this is generally down to your theme you're using. Now, if I come out of here and go to main menu by pressing start, user interface settings. From here, I'm gonna to go to theme configuration, game list view style, and I'm gonna change this to something like game carousel. If I press back and go back into my game, we can now find your actual game case cover is actually displayed rather than being compressed where you can't see it at all. So this is Sega Saturn then, everything's up and running as we can see. Now if we press select button, this is gonna bring us into the view options window. If we go right to the bottom, advanced system options, emulator, we got a choice of free retro arch, libretro course to use. Now I find that Beatles Saturn works fine. And of course by leaving this to auto, which is your top option, that's gonna select the next option down. So Beatles Saturn, like I say, this works fine. 
If you get any issues using Beetle Saturn, then check out Kronos or Yabas and Shiro. I'm going to leave this to auto for now. And we're going to go into video settings to enhance how these games look shortly. So what I'm going to do for now is just boot up my game by pressing A. Okay, so everything's working fine, sounds fine, and we can play the game. So we're going to go into the RetroArch quick menu from here, and I'm pushing down on my right analog stick to access this, and the A button simultaneously. So right analog stick down, and the A button. From here, we can do things such as save and load states. If I just go down to save states, and first of all, state slots. So we've got a thousand state slots here, and I'm going to leave this to auto, where it's going to select zero. And if I go to save state, press A, you'll find save state to slot one, that's just appeared. Let me play the game. And again, I'm gonna press the right analog stick down and the A button simultaneously, and that's gonna bring us here again. So from here, I'm gonna go down to load state, press A. And as you can see, this is now loaded back where I just saved. Okay, so we're gonna go back into the RetroWatch quick menu and to exit out of here, I'm gonna press the B button, which is gonna bring us back. Now, we're gonna look at disc control. There's particular Sega Saturn games where you might have two discs. So what we're gonna to do to swap discs whilst we're in a game is just go down disc control. And from here, if it's asking for disc two to be inserted, if you just press on eject disc, which I'm not going to do because obviously I'm just playing one game for now, one disc game that is. And once I've ejected it, I'm going to go to load new disc. And right just here, you should find your second disc. It's just then simply a case of selecting disc 2 and then loading it. It's very simple to do. What we're going to do is press B to come out. And if I drop down the quit retro watch and press A, and we're now back into Batacera. So let's take a look at some video settings. If I press select button on my controller, advanced system options, we got power mode. Now, if you're running a lower end computer, a potato computer, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that power mode is on something like balance or even power saver. However, Sega Saturn isn't the most demanding stuff to run through an emulator these days. Now what we're gonna do is take a look at decorations and aspect ratio. So of course your decorations is what appears on the sides of the screen. So for example, on the sides of the screen as I was playing it, you'll find Sega Saturn console. And you can find this right at the bottom and this is set to default. Now, if we want to take away this or even replace it with another decoration such as a real cool 1980 sunset look, just change it. What I'm going to do is just put this to none and I'm going to set the aspect ratio under game aspect ratio to full and what this is going to do is give us a full screen. Now if you want to use full screen and use a decoration it's not going to happen. The problem is by using the decoration and using a full screen the decoration is going to cover some of your game. So. What I'm going to do is just boot back into the game with full screen and decoration taken away. Cool, so as you can see, full screen works fine. Now what I'm gonna do is just quit out of here. I'm now gonna apply that decoration with full screen being enabled. So I'm gonna go to view options, advanced system options, down to decorations, decoration set, 
and let's just apply this Oracase 1980s. So just an example that your game is going to be very cropped if you apply full screen as well as user decoration. And as you can see just there, some of the gameplay is taken away because of that decoration is obscuring it. So let's just quit out of here again. So just remember to use the decoration, you're really going to want your aspect ratio set to 4 by 3 So game aspect ratio, pop this one back to auto, which remember selects the next option. Now we can also clean up the pixelation for Sega Saturn games. Again, under view options and advanced system options, if we just go down to game render and shaders, shader set, we can apply even mega bezels with this. So a mega bezel is really gonna make your games look awesome and faster type of thing. But I just select mega bezel from here. And what I'm gonna do next is go to smooth games by linear filter, and I'm gonna make sure this is set to auto or turn on. Integer scaling, I'm also going to make sure this is set to auto on. So again, this is going to take away pixelation. Now what we're going to do, because we've got mega bezel, we actually next need to go to graphics API. And if you're using mega bezels, you need to select Vulcan. Otherwise, it's not going to work correctly. So what we're going to do is go back into the game again. And as you can see, by applying Mega Bezel and putting the graphics API to Vulcan, we've now got a simulation or emulation rather of a real CRT or a simulated CRT, even to the extent where the screen is actually reflecting on the sides just here, which is pretty cool. Now, if we just go to Quick Retro Arch again, what I'm going to recommend is go to Main Menu, Updates and Downloads, The Bezel Project. And from here, we can download Saturn, which is gonna give us more of those bezels. So if we just install this, and it's now been installed. So what we're gonna do is just head out of here again, and we're gonna go back to view options, advanced system options, and drop down the decorations again, decoration set. And you should find at the bottom here, the bezel project. If we select this one and open up the game again, And as you can see, after installing that Saturn bezel, we now got Bug. And whatever game it is you decide to play using this Retro Watch Core, you're gonna find that the sides is now gonna be artwork if you select that bezel, what you just downloaded. And that's it for today's Battle Sarah 39 and Sega Saturn setup guide. So yes, we've looked at some really awesome video settings today, including Mega Bezels, and pretty much everything you need to get you up and running with playing Sega Saturn games the best way possible through your Batacera setup. So if you're new to my channel, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation setup guys like this one you've watched today. And it also helps my channel out a great deal too. Also be sure to check out my Batacera playlist. I'm uploading a lot of Batacera setup guides at the moment so be sure to check those out. Anyways, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.